This is a exposed tropical environment that got chipped away over millions of years and now it's showing what was buried in it. This is, where's the log? Do you see right in that hole where you see the white right below it? Do you see like a piece of almost wood? You'd probably be able to see it more over here. Oh, okay. I only see one. I see one, I don't see the other. Didn't really bargain for that. No. It's pretty high up here. Way high. You get to see a sign that says end of trail. But this is the Clarno Arch. Wow. It's almost like you can go into another portal. Yeah. <sighs> Or lose your life falling back that way. <laughs> yeah. This is the highest I've ever climbed. This is like plant life. Well, first of all, what we're learning about this trip in this location is that things aren't always as we've been taught. Apparently, elephants were here. So these are the fossil Long beds. Five dollars for individuals, families of four, they want fifteen dollars. If you're boy, if you have a large family, you're spending like the yeah. price of admission. Yeah. Uh, people are up on that hill back there. Well, not those people on the right, but people way over there. Let me see if I can show you. Going up that hill, that's where we were just at. People up there still mining for fossils. Yeah. And um, down here, they provide you with tools to use. Stuff that you could use for, yeah. And afterwards, you return it. My phone doesn't overheat. We are at this high school that has a fossil bed yeah. behind it. And now they charge $5 per person to go check it out, but they have tools that you can go and dig for fossils on your own. Character. So this is uh, the type of rocks or type of fossils. And I just, Use one of these implements here, this archaic crowbar, and I have found an imprint of a leaf. Of a leaf. Yeah. See that? Yeah. That is evidence that this was all Panama. <laughs> How many years ago? 45 million years ago. But it's tropical. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. No gold, though. No, no gold. No. Chippy, chippy away. Except for your finger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like... <laughs> you end up losing a finger for nothing. Talk about all they want with fossils, but this is a fossil right here. Journey through time yep. to the old venerable phone booth. Where Superman would change. Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. Blink and you're gone. So we are in our car at 120 or something, 115 in the morning, and these young college kids are outside right now talking all kinds of BS.
crap. It's really annoying. It's like, it's kind of a rest area for a reason. We had chosen to use this rest area because it's like out in the middle of what? It's out in the middle of nowhere. And it's like, there's really no reason that these people should be out here at this time of night just talking stupidity, people drunk out of their ass, just outside laughing, carrying on, telling old stupid stories about their colleges and stuff. Some people just, just, you know, just this morning, I mean, just this evening before we left, um, to get into the car and stuff. We, there was this um, black van that pulled up with these questionable people. This older, heavy lady that barely could walk, and then these three guys in black, and they're walking around, and they look kind of rough. And we're sitting there, and we're thinking, God, I hope these people go, you know. They eventually left, but the lady left a bunch of trash by the um, by the vault toilet and was like, this isn't like any of the rest areas out in California. And then Mark told her and said, this is a pack it in, pack it out site. You know, you can't leave trash. Oh. And she just left her trash there and walked on and eventually left. This is just pathetic. People just, you know, they abuse privileges that people have to utilize these rest areas and stuff. And it's like people like us depend on these places, you know. And you'd think that we'd be able to sleep here. But it's like if it's a quiet one, you get rough, you know, rough looking people coming around or you get like rowdy, stupid college kids like right now just planting themselves on picnic tables and shooting the breeze and smoking dope and smoking, drinking and just carrying on and it's so stupid. And then if you go to a rest area that's not remote but is kind of busy, then you have the trucks going you know, and cars coming in and out. So, the rest areas aren't the greatest sometimes. Sometimes they could be so wonderful. But I bet you anything, if there was a truck driver out here, this this noise would have been over with. Because I'm sure they wouldn't tolerate it. We're just two people. We don't know what to do. We're trying just to sleep. Anyway... That's my two cents. These are the people that were making all the records yesterday. The what? I'm just kind of showing people. People that were making all the ruckus. They live in that bus back there or something. And they're coming back from the rainbow gathering that happened here in John Day in a forest in the town here in Eastern Oregon. And yeah, yelling at the top of their lungs last night. Dogs, babies. So it looks like for today we found ourselves a nice, nice campground here. Um, picnic area. Got a vault toilet back there. Got picnic tables back here. It's a pretty quiet rest area compared to the other one. That was really not that great. And um, yeah, hopefully there aren't people that are gonna be all loud and obnoxious. But it's a good spot for today. Right? Yep. It's got everything we need. Hopefully peace and quiet. 
We are at the Tamatgit something cultural Indian um, site or something. It's hard to Tamas 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 Slick. Slick. Yeah. And we're probably botching it up. Yeah. But we just parked under a really cool little canopy and it's made out of uh, so, solar panels. So it's like you know And behind us we got a windmill. Yeah, big old massive windmill. Oh. Oops. Yeah, back there. And there's no reason why every household shouldn't be operated by solar mm -hmm. panels and wind instead of having to pay a massive amount of money. To Absolutely. With the electric company, you pay the electric bill too. So you can go ahead and pronounce that however you want. Tamas. Okay, accent on the A, so it's Tama. Slit. Cultural Institute. I guess that A on my accent. Welcome. There's a casino not too far from here. You can see it way back in the distance back there. And it's connected to this um, reservation. Because we're on reservation land. Oh, are we? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Yet again. Un freaking believable. Okay, this place. I just can't believe it. I just, no, I just, I mean, I do believe it because I've been seeing it throughout the whole trip. Yeah. But we're definitely onto something here. The universe is really trying to speak to us in a way, you know, to let us know that the white European way of life destroyed the lives of the North American native people that were here and. Um, Continues, continues to destroy. It change, and it's like a cancer that literally destroys healthy cells and takes over mm -hmm. the healthy cell of the host. It's the same way that these uh, European um, settlers you know, came here and, and just destroyed the way of life of natives that were living in harmony with Mother Earth. Thousands and thousands of years, these people have fished the Columbia Gorge. And um, there was a beautiful, beautiful place called Salilo Falls. And um, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers decided that they needed electric power for their war machine and to build aluminum planes and to, you know, feed a nation that was growing way too quickly. And they thought they could use hydroelectric power to do that. Yeah. And they took and made the Columbia River into some kind of a massive, you know, tool for themselves. Yeah. And in, in effect, destroyed the lives and the, the, the livelihoods of the native people. Which not, has been the theme. Yeah, not, not just one group of people, but Native American tribes from all over North America used to go to these sacred fishing grounds in order to get their salmon and um, it was something that was very much um, their, way their way of life yeah. and it was destroyed in a matter of hours the United States government flooded out the lives of these people by flooding a beautiful beautiful area that was on the side of a waterfall or Salmon would spawn and come up to breed and stuff like that. And destroy the salmon. Now the salmon that is remaining has neurotoxin yeah, diseases no. that affects the nervous system. And you know the salmon that's been created now is a lot of GMO, farm raised, farm raised, GMO genetically modified, um, which is unhealthy to eat. You know. So. But it's not even just that. It's just the fact that everywhere we go, we find this. To be the, the, the common, theme. common theme is that white manifest destiny type aggression that's saying that this land is theirs and even this the the theme like the motto or the, the state song of Oregon is mm -hmm. 
talks about, you know, that the white man is, is better and, you know, whatever. And it's really pathetic. It's really sad because we met a woman just yesterday, uh, before we even came out here, at the Warm Springs um, Indian Reservation yesterday when we were looking for a place to stay. We were going to stay by the casino and we were going to go to the... Days just yeah, days, days, but whatever, and we were there in her gift shop, and this lady was talking to us, and it's ironic because here we are here hearing about it, and she said, my people were those that fished on the Columbia River, and it was taken, and they uprooted us, and they relocated us, and they took away our way of life. We were, we were rich because, you know, what... The, the industry was was giving them the you know, way of life, way yeah. of life mm -hmm. and how they fed and, and they supported and maintained their tribal existence. And I'm sure when she meant they were rich, they weren't the same. You know, no, it's not like rich. Abundant. They had yeah, they had of, of being able to provide for their you know the community and, mm -hmm. and they had a way of life. Yeah, they had a way to sustain their lives and.